Do you spend more than 20 minutes finding the perfect SEO for your Etsy listings? If so, then this video is for you. I want to share my top tips for finding best-selling SEO fast without overthinking it. While I think there's a lot of great Etsy SEO tools out there, I really don't think you should rely on them. In my first two years selling on Etsy, I didn't use any Etsy keyword tools at all and sold over $500,000 worth of t-shirts with these four tips that I'm going to share with you now. I'll also share with you two different keyword tools that I do use to make my process faster, but I think it is important to first understand the basics of what makes a good title so you can more easily pick the right title for your listing. And if you're completely new to SEO, I do have two videos I'm going to link down in the description as well. The first one is a full explanation of what SEO is. If you're wondering, what are you talking about? I'll go into exactly what Etsy SEO is and how it works. And then the second video is a full walkthrough of me showing you the exact process that I go through to find my title and tags for my listings. My first tip for you is to put the most important keyword that you want to try and rank for first in your title. So for example, if you're making a Halloween sweatshirt, then that might be exactly what you put first in your title since there's over 26,000 people looking for Halloween sweatshirts on Etsy right now. If you can rank for this keyword set, you can get lots of sales. And trust me, just because there's a ton of searches for this keyword does not mean that you can't get found. Etsy has a really great search algorithm that shows different search results to all of its different users based on the types of designs they've clicked in the past, the types of things they've favorited, and what they've bought. So everybody really does get a chance to be seen. My second tip for you is to guess what the customer is actually going to type in the search bar, not describe what the item is. The reason why I'm telling you to do this is Etsy is a search engine based website. So most people already have a pretty good idea of what they want to look for. They come to Etsy, they type that in the search bar, they look through all of the search results, and then they buy one right there from the search results. So if you don't have the exact thing they type into the search bar in your title or your tags, then you won't get shown in that search result. So let's go ahead and take a look at two examples, a bad example of a title and a good example of a title so you can see exactly what I mean. So I got this cute graphic off of creativefabrica.com. So it says, I'm just here for the booze and is a super cute Halloween design. Now, if you're not familiar with creativefabrica.com, they're a website with over 5 million graphics and fonts that you can use for your print on demand business. And if you haven't tried them yet, I do have a link down below for a $1 first month trial. So I came up with a bad example of a title for this design. So I said here, I'm just here for the booze, ghost with wine glass, Halloween unisex ultra cotton sweater. So this is a really good example of describing the sweater, not typing in what you think someone is going to actually type into the search results. So ghost with wine glass might describe what's on your shirt fine, but I don't think any Etsy shoppers are that specific in knowing what they're looking for. You'd be better off putting things like funny Halloween sweater, Halloween sweatshirt, or cute fall sweater. And you don't want to put things like just the word Halloween in your title either. This is what we call short-tailed keywords, where it's just one keyword. Because again, most people aren't just typing Halloween into the search bar. You want to try and use what's called long-tailed keywords, which is what they're going to type in after that. Like my example of Halloween sweatshirt, funny Halloween sweater, and so on. So you want to try and match exactly what the customer is really typing into those search results. And then lastly, you don't want to type in things like unisex ultra cotton sweater either, because again, while this may describe the shirt, this isn't going to give you a lot of people searching for this and a lot of views on your items. And if nobody sees your item, then no one is going to buy it. So here's an example of a good title. So I went ahead and again put Halloween sweatshirt here at the beginning because that's the keyword that I think would be the best to try and rank for. Then I have here for the booze sweatshirt, drinking Halloween sweater, spooky season, spooky vibes, fall sweater, and then funny Halloween. 
So this is gonna have me show up in here for the booze, drinking Halloween, spooky season, spooky vibes, fall sweater, and funny Halloween. So now I'm showing up in lots of different places on the internet that people are searching for in the search results. And this is going to give you a much better chance of getting found and getting sales. And if you tend to overthink your SEO or take way too long finding it, then go ahead and type not anymore down in the comments below. My third tip for you is that you don't actually have to include what the shirt says on it in the title at all. So if you don't think people are really searching for that exact term, then don't go ahead and include it in your title. So let's go ahead and use the I'm just here for the booze example for this as well. So what I'm going to show you here is something called Sales Samurai, and this is one of my favorite Chrome extensions to use for Etsy. Again, this is completely optional, but this is the types of times where I do use these types of tools to make my process even faster. So what I'll do is I'll actually type in I'm just here for the booze in the actual search bar on Etsy. And so what Sales Samurai is going to do is populate how many people are actually searching for that keyword on Etsy. And you can type in anything on the search bar and it'll give you these results. So there's 220 people looking for I'm just here for the booze. So you can decide if this is worth keeping in your title or not. And I do have a discount code in the description below for Sales Samurai for 20% off. So it is only $8 per month to get this extra little bit of information anytime you're looking for keywords for your business. Let's go ahead and type in another keyword. So let's say again, you're designing for Halloween and you make a design that says spooky season. Let's go ahead and type that into the search results and it shows that there's actually 3,372 people searching for spooky season on Etsy right now. So if you make a spooky season design, you definitely wanna include that in your title and your tags. The other sneaky reason why not including what your shirt says in your title or your tags is a great thing is if something does happen to get trademarked down the road, then it's not actually in your SEO at all that you can be found and reported if that term gets trademarked. My fourth tip for you today is really to just not overthink it. Finding SEO for your listings can really be as simple as looking at the top four or five bestsellers in your category, seeing what they're using for their titles and tags, and then making your own titles and tags based on what the bestsellers are actually using. My friend Mary has a fun saying that I love, which is that success leaves clues. You don't have to feel like you need to recreate the wheel or have some crazy unique SEO. You can make sales with these titles and tags just like they can. Just to show you what that would look like practically, let's take the example of a Halloween sweatshirt. Let's go ahead and type in Halloween sweatshirt that's getting over 26,000 views right now and take a look at what bestsellers are doing. So you take a look through the top four or five bestsellers in a similar category as yours, see what they're using for their titles and tags, and then make your own. So you can do that manually by going through and clicking on these listings, or this is when I actually use a keyword tool called Ever be. So Everbee is another Chrome extension that's built right into your browser. I do have a link for them down below as well, and they are this little blue bar here on the side. So what you'll do is come to the search results, and they're going to sort this first page of a results for you. You just go hover over this and click Analytics, and this is going to sort all of the results. So you can even sort them by which listings get the most number of sales. And then you can even click this drop down here and see what they're using for their tags and their title all in one easy page to make this just quicker and easier for yourself. They also give you more information than you can see on Etsy, like how old the listing is and how many estimated total sales this listing is made. Again, you don't need either of these keyword tools to be successful on Etsy, but going through this process and using these tips to find your own organic best-selling SEO, and then using Sales Samurai and Everbee to make it quicker and easier for yourself is exactly how I run my business every day. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really do hope that it helps you find best-selling SEO faster and easier than ever before but I do still have my one-on-one -on -one coaching calls available in the description below if you think you need a little extra help to get on the right track. 
And I did also wanna say a special thank you to all of my subscribers who have been helping answer the questions in my comments below. I do really try to answer every question on every video on my channel, but that is starting to take a little bit more time now. So I am really thankful for all of you who have been helping out over the last few weeks. You all are helping me grow such a beautiful, wonderful, helpful community. And if you did enjoy this content, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe. It really does mean so much to me and we'll see you in the next one.